All right, guys, what I got here is a 2007 uh, Saturn Aura, and this transmission that's in here is a 4T40E, and pretty much this came in with a check engine light on. I had scanned it, and I had code P1818, and pretty much what that code means is when you select drive, it's showing a ratio for a different gear. So, for instance, I'll start it up, put the car in drive, maybe it'll show a ratio for reverse, or maybe the scanner uh, information will read reverse, uh, so it pops the light on with that code. Now, uh, this can be a false code, and the software would need to be upgraded so that code wouldn't come back anymore. So the way you diagnose this is you clear the code out, and then you go back into transmission data, you start the car up, and you actually put it in reverse and you put it in drive and see if it reads correctly. If it reads correctly, then you gotta upgrade the software. If it does not read correctly, then you go about your diagnosis to find out what the problem is. Okay, so I did this and it actually read correctly. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade the software in the car, we're gonna recalibrate it uh, so this code does not come back again. All right, so I bought my I'm going to uh, get a little closer to this, but I bought my subscription to the uh, AC Delco uh, GM Tech Info, uh, $55 for uh, two or three days. I have my uh, reprogrammer here that we're going to hook up, and we're going to reprogram this software so this code does not come back again. All right, so let me just uh, pause the camera for one second. I'm going to get this set up, and I'll be right back. All right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my uh, re reprogrammer. So I got um, I got everything hooked up. I got my uh, J tool hooked up. Uh, I had the battery charger on the car, and I'm actually running on Wi-Fi. But I, we have Wi-Fi in the shop, and I got an excellent signal. Normally, you want to be hardwired, but uh, the last uh, one I did really didn't need it. I mean, I got an excellent signal. All right, so it's communicating. All right, so we're going to uh, reprogram a controller. Okay, this should launch the, uh, the GM stuff for us. Okay, we're gonna actually reprogram a Saturn 2000 and newer. Now just make sure you read all this stuff. It kind of walks you right through it. I don't do a lot of this, but um, when I do get it, I like to uh, reprogram instead of send sending it out. Okay, we're running 14 volt volts on a battery. I got a battery charger on, not fully charging, but I do have one on. So you don't want the voltage to drop below uh, I think it's 12 volts. Okay, so now it goes back to this site. I'm just going to kind of navigate around here until I figure out I got to log in. I'm logged in, and now we're going to go to access your subscription. All right, I'm not sure if this, I just did this, I just did one a few weeks ago on a GM truck, so I'm not sure if anything's going to have to be updated. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to just update. Let me just pause this for one second and do the update and I'll come back when SPS starts. All right, so I got Java updated, got all that stuff. Now I'm gonna start SPS.
Okay, we're gonna run this. Might be a new version. I think it's downloading the latest uh, version here. Not sure how long this is going to take, but okay. All right, so now they want us to select the tool that we're using, and I'm using the Universal Reprogrammer 2. So we'll click on that. And we're going to reprogram and ECU. And we'll hit next. Okay, turn the ignition off. Which it is off. Verify the battery. The battery is charging. We have it on a charger. I'm going to turn this ignition on. Okay. And we'll hit. So now we got to select the vehicle. Okay, this is a Saturn. Model year is 2007. It is a passenger car. It is an Aura. All right, now it's communicating. Okay, you want to make sure, see here's the VIN number, and you want to make sure that is the correct VIN number, which it is. I'm hoping this is uh, showing up here. I will hit next. Okay, now we're going to go to transmission control module. Okay, I'm going to just do normal, it's already highlighted. So we're going to go to transmission here. Transmission Diagnostic. It's new calibration to address the DCT 1818. All right, so we want to hit uh, next. Okay, so we got this up here. New calibration to address faults, and there's a few other ones for the trains that have probably never been done, so I guess all that's going to get done. So let's hit next. All right, you can see that process bar. The bar going across. It's downloading it from server, which is complete. And now it's loading it into the car through this uh, programmer.
then just waiting for the bar to go across. Estimated time remaining is uh, about two minutes. I'm hoping all this stuff uh, showed up. So as I was saying um, before, I mean, we have good Wi-Fi in the shop. So I'm actually doing this through Wi-Fi because I got an excellent signal strength. Uh, but normally when you're doing this, you don't want any interruptions. You even want to set your computer so it never goes to sleep. I, had, I changed all the settings on it so it always stays on the screen. And you don't want any interruptions because if you get any interruptions, you got to start the whole process over again. A lot of times I'm hardwired, got to have a Cat6 cable that I would run from the router or directly from the modem right into the laptop. But since the signal strength is so good from the Wi-Fi we have in the shop, I'm doing this totally through Wi-Fi. But normally the suggestion is to be hardwired so there is no interruptions during the process. So this is going to be updated for all uh, the 1818. There was a few other ones that it was listed that it's all being updated for. Got about 10 seconds left. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Okay, now the locks popped up, the headlights went on. Uh, the reprogramming is complete. Okay, so now we're just gonna, a lot of times this would come up with uh, DCTs, so we're gonna clear out any DCTs. Okay, so that's uh, that's pretty much it with uh, with this one. All right, I just wanted to share one more thing with you. I just went back into this just to double check to make sure it was loaded. Okay, so I, I know you guys. Well, let me see if I can get a little closer. I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see this, but here, uh, transmission diagnostic. A new calibration for Fultz DCT-1818. Here is the calibration for that. 242, 43, 393. And here is the current calibration, which is the same number. So that means the reprogram was successful and the calibration is in and this problem should be taken care of. Okay, so I just wanted to share that one thing with you. And once again, thanks for watching everybody and have a great day. And 2007 Saturn Aura uh, getting Fultz code 1818. There is a TSB on it for a recal. And that's what we did and all is well. Have a great one.